up? What is up, an army? I am Gamer5 coming at you with a brand new video. And today, it's been a while since we've done one of these. I can't even remember the last time I did a power ranking. I can't, I can't even remember what it was. I feel like it was the Star Wars one, but I feel like I'm very far off. Anywho, um, for the first time ever, I am not the only one doing a power ranking today. I am joined by I. We both play Splatoon 3 quite a lot. Um, and uh, we both have had quite good laughs while playing Splatoon 3. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. This was an idea that I had, that my, myself had, um, when um, we were filming the first two rounds of verses, and, uh, then, well, here we are. It's actually a thing. <laughs> and, uh, it, we've been sitting on this for how long? A while. A, a, a couple, uh, like, a, a week or so, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, um, we, we, we made the slides, then we pretty much sat on it for a little bit because we couldn't fil film it. We got busy. Mm -hmm. And now we're actually filming it. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, now, I feel like, b before we even get into this, I feel like a lot of people are probably going to have different opinions than us. It's perfectly fine. <laughs> As, uh, um... We kind of both went in a similar direction because most of the maps that, um, it, pretty much we've both experienced the maps at the exact same time. Like, well, majority of the time. Because, like, when we first start, like, we played the game very close to launch, which is the first time we've ever done that. <laughs> which was quite a bit of fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, um, without further ado, I can't remember who's up first, <laughs> because we, um, it kind of like the console one, I think it was that that was last, um, we had two different slides, one for I and one for me, it's the same for this time, just, instead of just having four for I and me do a lot more, we both have twelve. Now, when we had any that overlap, we just, we're just going to use the same slide and just, um, talk about what we like and what we dislike, or if we don't dislike anything. Is it all that makes sense, I guess? Without further ado, let's actually get going. And, uh, number 12, this is for Miss I. Um, this is... Ink blot. <laughs> um, why did you rank this twelve? This is twelve because there's not too much of a difference. Like, maybe there's like mm. one block or two that's about different, and then the lighting, and then that's it. It's pretty much the exact same thing from two. Yeah, yeah. I can understand that. Yeah. As soon as I started playing this, I'm like, okay, yeah, this feels like Splatoon 2 all of a sudden. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's And I want to be rude to the developers, but I, I feel like they're kind of lazy with this one a little bit. Yeah, well, yeah. you know the term, if it ain't broken, why fix it? Mm-hmm. It, it was, it, it is a good map, it's just like, it's it was so, it was over. such an overly used one in the previous game, and they didn't really change mm -hmm. anything. So. I think this is like maybe the top three maps I constantly go on into. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, and then moving on to my number 12. That is Macomart. They're kind of based off the same uh, reasoning that I had for her number 12. It's the same for me. I feel like not much changed with Macomart and going into Splatoon 3. Now, take it. Um, 
we've had some pretty fun battles at this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, um, like, I would have wished they'd change a little bit more in it. Like, I, I, like, I can't even think of what they changed. I think there wasn't much. And the like, if there was any major changes, it ain't coming to mind. <laughs> but um, yeah. So pretty much both of our twelves are pretty much the same re same reasoning. <laughs> hey. Kind of yeah. Yeah. And uh, I guess now we should move on to your number twelve, which is oh, I meant your number eleven. Which is Macklemore. <laughs> yeah, so I like this one a little bit more because I don't know what they changed, but I find it a little easier to hide from the Chargers. So yeah. they did something. Yeah. Either I got used to this or they did something that's made it a little difficult for the Chargers or more hiding spot. But I can't really tell nonetheless. Yeah. yeah. And then they changed the design just a little bit, like, like in the background, like stuff that you don't focus on. I notice... Oh. And some of the the background products have a little difference, and then <laughs> the middle plot middle area is a little different. But other than that, it's more or less the same. Yeah, that's stuff only only me and you would notice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Since some we good recon reasoning. these. Hey. Yep, especially since we recon these. Oh yeah, yeah, we recon pretty much every single one of these. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, that, moving on to my number 11, which is Wahoo World. Now, honestly, looking back at this, I probably could have put this a lot, put this at 12. Um, I just, I, I've gotten bored of this one. If that makes sense. Like, it was used so much in the last game. Now, they did add, make... One big change that I think you're going to get to in a, when you have it come up, right? Yeah. Um, but uh, other than that, like, it seems quite similar and, like, it seems pretty much the same <laughs> in my view, hey? Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I'm just, I've grown tired of this one. I'm oh, I'm a little bit annoyed whenever it comes up now, <laughs> but it's still a good one. But um, it's just I've grown tired of it. That's pretty much the only reason why I have it at number eleven. Mm -hmm. So, moving on to your number ten, which is the same thing. <laughs> Take it away. <laughs> Yeah, so I like this one a little bit more now because I I don't know if it's new or not, but I've noticed that the the whole entire thing is a little bit bigger, and I think there's like a new upper platform that the other team can't get across. But other than that, it's more or less the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The that's pretty much the same reason. That's the reason why I can't put it so low, and I think that's the way reason why you have it so low also. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah. It's, it's still a good one. You, you can have quite good fights on it, but, like, mm -hmm. it, it gets a little repetitive. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah. Moving on to my number 10. Eggblot! <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I agree that this one is quite, um, similar. It's pretty, like, very few things changed with it. And, um, like, honestly, in my view, the, on the only reason why I have this so high, <laughs> higher than the, than yours, is because I actually have enjoyed, um, having fights on this one and, like, um, going around the big center, center, um, um, thing, it, it's, all it makes for quite fun fights, it, other than when there's a charger that, uh, goes at the middle. Mm -hmm. That's always really annoying. I've been actually <laughs> pretty lucky to just bomb them. Yeah. Yeah. Good seventy five percent chance I would end up getting them. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah. I don't really have much else to say about this one. 
because I pretty much covered it um prior. <laughs> so um, yeah, it it is very similar. I will just say that. Just I just in I enjoy fighting on this one more, so I mm -hmm. put it higher. So uh, yeah, moving on to number nine, and I. I feel like this would be you, but I feel like we might have one that we're both that we both agreed on coming up. I feel like that's next, but I'm not entirely sure. So we'll find out right now. <laughs> yep. Okay, yeah. Megamer, you, you go first. <laughs> so I was actually really looking forward to this one in three since we never really got it in two, and then. I, I mean, I was just watching YouTube videos of the first one. And I was like, wow, I really hope they make this in three. And then bada -bing, bada bing, it happened. But unfortunately, it's a little bit on the lower end because it's pretty small. Yes. Even <laughs> after the even after it gets a little bigger, it's I still find it pretty small. Yeah. And it's very easy to follow the water. Mm -hmm. As we proved in round two. <laughs> <laughs> probably the funniest scene we've had in, in versus over the time we've done it. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> um but yeah, I I will say like I kind of agree it's it's really small and um like if if you can block the team from getting out of their area, you can you can easily win it. Mhm. Mm and Unless like, you're like insanely sneaky. Yeah. Which is almost down near impossible because it's so small. Cue it's, the Mission Impossible music. <laughs> <laughs> There's only two ways to get out of your area uh, other than being risky and jumping over water. <laughs> um, but like, it's, it's small, it's so easy to fall in the water and it's easy to trap a team and completely win it and like yeah I, I agree that I, I, agree, was I could be 100% wrong one. with this I feel like th this is much smaller than one like when I was look out, looking back at YouTube videos I'm like thinking wow this one looks a lot bigger yeah uh I I haven't seen videos on it, but I will take you take your word for that. <laughs> it kind of feels like you're in a small town in one. Yeah. Especially um, in the ranked battles. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah, it, it's definitely a fun one to be on. But like, it's so it's too small easy to fall in the water. What? It's too easy to fall in the water. Yeah. Like um. Well, me and you were recently um doing a uh, private zones battle. Um, I was tr avoiding using my special because I know I knew I would immediately go into the water. <laughs> mm -hmm. And like, I I don't see that as fun. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wait, um, yeah. It, it's it's kind of a bummer that because me and you were both very looking forward to this one, mm -hmm. and just it flopped, bad big time. Anywho, moving on to number eight. Uh, this would be yours, and it's Sturgeon Shipyard. <laughs> um, so I don't have much to say about this aside of it being another um. A uh, port over, but honestly, I feel like this is a little bit bigger than the second game. Just a little bit. Not too much. Maybe like 5.5 more. And then <laughs> I see some small color changes, but other than that, it's the same. Yeah. Yeah, this is not... But I would definitely say the same thing. It's not that different. <laughs> and then as the time of this recording, I was recently in this stage, and I never really went against the other players. I was just inking the floor the whole time. Yeah, in, in this Which one... kind of proves it, the point that, yeah, I think this got a little bigger. It, yeah, in this one, you can definitely get... Oh, oh, just spend time covering your own area. That other zones are so large. Mm-hmm. And, like... Even though usually when me and you are fighting on this, we, we are literally stuck at center. <laughs> <laughs> 
But, like, we did have quite a bit of fun on this when we did the, um, uh, the world premiere of the, um, uh, Splatfest. Yeah, I'm just still shocked that the team we chose won. Yeah, yeah. But, like, we, me and you had so much good luck on it and had so much fun. Mm -hmm. Like that was really that that this was a good one for tricolor. Like I, I'm yeah. still pretty upset about the recent one where I only got one and you didn't get anything. I got one. And even oh you you got one. Yeah, I got one. And did you find that one kind of hard? It's very strange. Mm -hmm. uh, Hammerhead was very strange for it. Yeah, and then, yeah, I wasn't. We never even my team never even came close to the ultra signal, and yeah. Yeah. But Anywho. somehow my team. Won that tricolor, which is nuts. <laughs> yeah. And we didn't win any of them. As a, as a signals. Anywho, moving on from your number eight to my number eight. This is one of the new ones. This is Undertow Spillway. Right? Yeah. Yeah, so this one... I Going into it, I did have hopes for it. And... It did kind of hit it. Like, I would say at this point, it's kind of ones that I do like. It's just kind of had, a, had to rank them. Hey, mm -hmm. we're kind of in the middle now. And, like, these are the ones that are good, but they're here because we didn't really have any other place to put them. <laughs> and, uh, like, this one falls into that category. It's, it's very big. Mm-hmm. And like, um it out of all the all the new ones, it's definitely not the best. Mm-mm. And um But like the I think the main negative point on this is if you're in the center part, there's those two like um uh, raised up areas that if you if there's a charger up there, you're screwed. Mm -hmm. Or anybody, for that matter. If anyone's up on those, you're screwed. Mm -hmm. Like, we've had instances that someone with a splatling has been on top of those, and they're really hard to get. Mm -hmm. But, like, um, I do like this one, and it's quite large. Just, like, there's some annoying factors of it, and that's the main reason why it's number eight for me. Mm -hmm. So... Moving on to eyes number seven. Uh, eagle tail? So this one is like a huge, I don't know, like I really like this one a lot. I like the, how the little bridge in the middle kind of connects yeah. to the other opponents. Mm -hmm. And I like the layout overall. Like it's fun. Yeah. Overall, I just had nowhere to put it because like you said, it's starting to get a little harder one. to it's starting to get a little harder to place all the maps yeah. except for the last one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're gonna start seeing that because like a lot of these now we did we do enjoy, just like we had no other place to put them. Mm-hmm. So uh yeah. Moving on from eyes number seven, because there's pretty much nothing else to talk about. I'll probably talk about it more when I get to it. But um yeah. Moving on to my number seven, and that is Sturgeon Shipyard. <laughs> now, for for me, um, I quite enjoy this one. Like the battles on here are quite fun, um, and the fact that there's the um once in a while the one uh, at center there's the two parts that go up and down which can sometimes uh be very annoying if someone uh like uh you uh hide on top of them <laughs> when they're folded up <laughs> um but like i've had so much fun with this one and like and we've had so much good luck with it it's been so much fun and the tricolor that we the very many tricolors that we did on this. Mm -hmm. And I can't even remember how many we won on. One out I think of we won two of them. 
Was it was it not three? It felt like we did won three. I'm pretty sure it's two, but I think the other team won, and then we were like agreeing, like, "Yep, good job, you guys." Yeah, like, I, we, I know uh, we did. It come was Fly's team one. that won, but we were like, "Mm-hmm." Yeah. Um. Yeah. So like, we we do well on this one, and like we, it's so it's a very good one, and like. Moving on, I think we can move on from this one now. <laughs> hey. mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, moving on to number eyes number six. I didn't really have much to say on this one, so we're just gonna move on to eyes number six, and that is uh, Undertow Spillway. So I actually really like this map a lot because for it some reason Gotham it just gives me vibes, right? It does give me Gotham City vibes, especially if you're like, like <laughs> underground or something, or uh, in like an alleyway. That that's this is what it kind of reminds me of. Yeah. Pretty much, and it's actually kind of fun how the center area is really small, and yeah, there's so many like it's very ways different. to travel in this map. Like, yeah, I will agree. The center area being so small is very different because usually the centers are the largest part. It's what takes up most of the map. And, like, usually the, um, if you control the center, you can easily win. This one, you can't control the center. No, you just have to ink your own area. Yeah, or the other team's area. Mm -hmm. Which is really hard <laughs> in this one. <laughs> Anywho, um, y you good with this? Yeah. Okay, moving on to my number six. That is Hagelfish. Um, I uh, can't. Uh, it, I can't remember the full name of this. Is it Hagelfish Market? I think so. I think that's close enough. <laughs> this is the one I have been on the least. <laughs> I feel like it's probably the same with you. Oh no, I've been on it a fair amount of times. Oh well. Okay, I've been on this one the least amount of times. <laughs> This one has a lot of physics. I'm just going to say that right now. Yes, it does. <laughs> it very much does. All boxes. But, um, <laughs> like, other than the fact that I haven't really been on this one that much, right? I feel like I've been on this one twice. Other than the times we've been on it. Mm hmm Um, like, in, in private. Um, because in private, we've been on this one quite a bit. Mm-hmm. Online, I've been on twice. And, like, every time I've been on it, it's been a blast playing on it. I just, I've barely played on it, and I just, I physically couldn't put it higher because I, I couldn't, um, I haven't played on it that much. Mm -hmm. But, like, it is, a, out of all the new ones, I would go to say it's one of, one of the out-of-the-ballpark ones. Mm -hmm. Like, they smashed it, in my view, with this one. Mm -hmm. It's very fun. It's it's very open, mm -hmm. which is very nice. Like it is so open this one, and uh, yeah. So I just I have it where it is because I've barely played on it. So when we revisit this after probably all maps are in, uh, this might move up. This might move down. We will see. But moving on from my number six to your number five, which is the same exact thing. <laughs> yeah, so coming back to the physics thing, I really like how this time they put some boxes that you can kind of shoot, but then after like a few seconds, they disappear. So that's yeah. really nice yeah. with the physics. Mm -hmm. and it's just coming back to gamers' um, opinion. Yeah, it's very well open. The design overall is great. And mm -hmm. yeah, that's really all I got to say. What? That's all I gotta say. Okay. <laughs> okay. You pretty much just took the words out of my mouth. Yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like we both have had very fun um, matches on this. Mm-hmm. Like, but been... the only difference, I've been on it a few more times than yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, I feel like if we, when we redo this, this could be a lot higher for both of us. Mm-hmm. But um, I just noticed this in the background. 
I feel like this might be close to Sturgeon Shipyard. Do you see do you see boats in the background? Oh. Huh. You see that, right? Yeah, I do. Huh. Hmm. Very okay. interesting. Okay. Then moving on from that, that's something uh, something only me and you would notice. <laughs> <laughs> So my number five, this is Eel Tail Alley. Um, now this, other than Mako Mart, not Mako Mart, sorry, Mahi Mahi. <laughs> um, other than that one, this was the one when they first announced it was coming. This was the one I was the most excited for. I don't know why, but I was. And... To be honest, it lived up to my expectations. I've had a lot of fun on this one. <laughs> it's very thin. It's very, it reminds me a lot of um, Walleye Warehouse from Splatoon mm -hmm. 2 because of how thin it is, mm -hmm. and, which makes for some very fun battles in it. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, it is, it is quite fun. Um, this is one that is used quite often, I think, right? Mm-hmm. Which is a good thing, but it might also turn it into a bad thing all at the same time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because it might get repetitive. Yeah. Like, in Splatoon 2, um, Albu new Albacore Hotel got used so much, it got, got boring. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't know if that will be the same with this one, because of, as you said, it has the big bridge in the middle mm -hmm. which makes for a some really annoying times when there's a charger on it as we both experienced in that one match recently yeah. only way to avoid it is just to be right underneath it <laughs> but like we we had that one charger literally right at the one bridge right outside of our um spawn it was so hard to get away mm-hmm and he kept going back. <laughs> but yeah, this one we've had so much... I've had so much fun with. I've played on it a lot. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so... I think this is a fair spot for it. Mm -hmm. um, on my side. And uh, yeah, moving on to eyes number four. Which is Mincemeat Metalworks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright, all right, say it with me. Wally. <laughs> Wally, yeah. Very, very just big Wally. Wally part. out of our brains every time we see it because the metal, with uh -huh. the blocks in the background, it just gives us huge Wally vibes and just uh -huh. how broken down and rusted it is. It just gives us that type of vibes from that movie. Yeah, yeah, it completely. And then, I pretty much like this one too, except at the starter platform where you see like that, like a little caged um, bridge yeah. or whatever. Mm -hmm. I always forget that that's there and I fall down. <laughs> no. Rather than that, this is a really cool one. Yeah, I remember talking about this um, when we were um, first coming up with this, and I told you I've never done that. I still haven't. <laughs> you have. <laughs> it's so, but like, it, it is a very good map. This one. Mm -hmm. You have reclined it on the on it though, because. Yeah, we both did. Mm hmm. Yeah, um, it, it's quite quite good. I'll get more into it when it comes up for me. Um, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, moving on to my number four, which. Is Scorch Gorge. <laughs> this was a close one. I could have put this in the top three. Mm -hmm. I ended up opting not to. Honestly, I don't entirely know why I didn't. But um, this one's quite fun. Mm -hmm. It's. I love the Grand Canyon. I love seeing pictures of it, and this is exactly that. Mm -hmm. And like uh, that, 
what's that word? To, what's uh, mine and yours uh, like most favorite movie franchise? <laughs> It's not just C and answer thus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This is very, very big Cars vibes of, like, radiating mm -hmm. springs and, and stuff. And, like... Back to the little town and Carburetor Canyon. It's <laughs> <laughs> a little later, but I think you get the point. <laughs> um, yeah, like... I love the detail in this. It was such a close number three for me. And like, it was, it's so much fun. Mm. And like the, the one, the center area, it's like a big pit. Mm. It's actually quite a bit of fun. <laughs> so like, I have a lot of fun with this. This is a very close number three, number four and three, very close for me. But, um, yeah, we can probably talk about a little bit more about Scorch when it comes up for you. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, moving on to the top three now. Which is very interesting that we're already there. Um, uh, starting at number three, Hammerhead Bridge. This is both of us. You we like it pretty much. Um, it's very... Really cool detail that the, it's finished. Yeah. Compared to two and uh, one. There's a lot of space to work with with this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, honestly, as soon as it showed this one, I thought I was going to like it, and I, I, I've come to a conclusion. I like it. <laughs> a <laughs> Except lot. when it came to the tricolor, though, that was annoying. Yep. <laughs> I won't. I won't hide it from you. Yep, <laughs> it <laughs> certainly was. And yeah. it doesn't help that me and you weren't together for the tricolor. I feel like if we were together, we might have done better. But um, yeah, like we've had the, uh, had a weird start to this game. Whenever we're together, we do really, really well. Whenever we are apart, we don't really do too hot. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> it is very weird. But um. <laughs> This one is, it is a very interesting one. Mm hmm And like, just as you said, it's complete. The last time it was in a game, in the game, it was not complete. Mm -hmm. It didn't have roof, which made it really hard to find a picture of it. <laughs> <laughs> because, um, if I could find a picture from a previous game, yeah, I would use it. This one I physically couldn't because it didn't have a roof. <laughs> but like um this one's so much fun and the center is so much fun to run around in mm -hmm. and like um we've only i think played turf war on this one hmm? i think we've only done turf war on this one right other than i believe so yeah because uh some of them we've done uh slap zones on this one we haven't yet mm -mm. um so um yeah moving on to what would be your number two? Um, and that is Scorch Gorge. Yeah, so coming back to the Cars vibes, yes, this gives me huge Cars, cars vibes because of the little rock towers in the background. And then yeah. this was obviously in the reveal trailer back uh, about a year ago. Yeah, about that, yep. And then I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be huge Cars vibes because it's a city, it's all chaos themed and like... Yeah, it's sandy and, and red and like rock. Western, and... I'm, get, I'm getting western vibes as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and then, yeah. And what's I, one I like of your overall. favorite games? <laughs> what did you say? What's one of your favorite games right now? <laughs> red Dead. Uh-huh. Uh yeah, other than that, yeah, I really love this one a lot. It it it's an A plus in my books yeah, and yeah. yeah. I feel like this could easily like, have been your number one. There's one thing that we I don't like though, it's that huge eel skull in the middle skeleton in the middle that kinda creeps me out a little bit. Yeah. But I feel like this could easily be your number one. Yeah. Like, when we revisit this, this could easily be number one. But 
our number one. I feel like we both have a very good reasoning for that one. No, we're not mm -hmm. gonna. It's not gonna be right away because I have my number two. But I will say mm -hmm. our number one is the exact same, and it was mm -hmm. pro probably the easiest one to come up with because we both agreed on it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and moving on to my number two, Mincemeat Metalworks, a hey, Wally, <laughs> and for me and I, big pick. We love oh, love Pixar. Mm -hmm. Um. You were, you, um, have thought of actually once, uh, going to work for Pixar, so. Mm hmm Like, um, we both really like the Pixar, uh, films, and, like, Wally, -E, so well done, and, like, the big trash cubes, super Wally -E vibes. Yeah, huge. And, like, it's all rusted away, half of it is undercover, the other half it's not, and that is so unique because, like, in previous games, like, we go back to... It's usually to... just mirrored, but here it's, like, 100% different. Yeah, in Splatoon 2, like, um, I'm gonna use Black Belly as the, um, as an example. It was pretty much, it was a co carbon copy on both sides. Mm -hmm. Like, there was nothing distinguishing which side you were on. Mm -hmm. This one, there is, and it's so cool. Mm -hmm. Like, um, on one side, you see a bunch of trash. On the other side, you're inside a rusted, worn-down building. Mm -hmm. It's so cool, the attention to detail on this, and, like, and you have a broken-down truck that you're fighting on top of, <laughs> which is actually quite neat. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I really like this one, and... Like, once again, this one could easily, like, move up, I feel. Mm-hmm. But, um, our num well, for you, it could definitely move up. <laughs> Yours was quite, uh, a little bit further down than mine. <laughs> but, um, both of us have the same number one. And if you know what maps are in the game, you know exactly which one it is. <laughs> <laughs> and that is... Museum de Alfonsino! <laughs> I will let you talk about this first. Yep. We both pretty much have the same views on it anyway, so... Mm -hmm. This so, is our number one. <laughs> this is absolutely fun. I love how there's one turning platform on your main side, and then there's one in the center. Like, it's super easy to hide from the chargers. It's easy to travel yep. around as long as you know where the things are... Sp which direction the things are spinning, and... Yeah, you can pretty much just avoid your other team easily with this one. Yeah, unless you're me and just run head first into them. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, I feel like this is the one we've been on the most, I feel. Mm -hmm. And, like, it's, it's so much fun. And we usually come out um pretty good on these ones. Mm -hmm. Like, um... Me and you are very even on these ones when we've done them together. Mm hmm And, like, it's been so much fun. I love the... I love this one. And this was, like... For both me and you, this was an absolute no-brainer as to put for our number one. Like, we both mm -hmm. knew this was going to be number one before we even started making the list. Mm hmm because we've had we had so we've had so much fun on this and like i couldn't see i couldn't see it being anywhere else now take it when we go revisit this and they add more maps this could be pushed down yeah probably but um i to be honest i kind of doubt it because we have so much fun on this one mhm mm and like um I can't wait to um have more fun on this. Like we haven't tried pretty much any other game mode on it yet. No. Nope. And uh like and we haven't done streams on it. I feel like doing a stream on this one would be nuts. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah, so that is our ranking. Do you guys agree? Let us know in the comments. 
It was the. It was fun doing this. It was the very. This is the very first time we've done a ranking together. Mm -hmm. This way, we have technically done rankings together in the past, but um, we haven't done any to this extent. Mm -hmm. And um, this is not the first Splatoon ranking we will do. We are planning already, kind of planning the next one. <laughs> Um, it has something to do with weapons, but anywho, <laughs> um, that one's gonna be quite a ways away. I w I will just say that that's mm -hmm. not gonna be like a week away. We are no, that's it's gonna be like near the end of the updates, pretty much. Or at least once we have everything, <laughs> which mm -hmm. we don't get. Um, but yeah. But like, I can already tell you right now, our first, the very last thing is without a doubt. Yeah. No, no arguing, nothing. <laughs> uh -huh. There's probably something almost about maybe 85% of the Splatoon community can probably agree about. Yeah, probably. Uh, <laughs> uh, I feel like there's two web weapon types that will be close, pretty much at the bottom for both of us. Mm -hmm. But like, for me and you, we're yeah. quite similar for weapons, and it'll probably mm -hmm. be quite um matched up. Yeah. Because we're both very similar in the way we fight and and pretty much do anything. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, that's the story for another day. We <laughs> are going to put our heads to work in getting that one done. We have no idea when that will get done, but we will do it eventually. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, with that... We hope to see you all in the next video. I'm not entirely sure what it is. I'm working on another video as we speak, but I have no idea when this is going up. And I'm also going on a trip times two. So, like, a lot is happening. Anywho, I have no idea what will be after this. Might be versus. Probably won't be. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I can anyhow. already guess what it is. It starts with a G and ends with S. Huh? <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, well, on that note... <laughs> We're gonna call it a day here. <laughs> okay. Now that I'm laughing, <laughs> I'm getting near fab signing off. Thank you guys for doing this with me. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Goodbye! Uh...